the first step I would take. Yeah. Just capturing those email addresses because you're otherwise you are that's lost traffic. That's the loads of people you're talking to on YouTube or on Instagram or wherever that's going to be. They want to have that next step in the chain. You mentioned funnel. So first step is collect an email address. And mm. I think that's where a lot of people already start struggling. Um, because it's like, where do I collect them? Uh, how much on information do I collect them? Sometimes you see people who are just have a full form for first name, last name, date of birth, and they want to collect everything. What's best practice to collect the email i think that again comes down to what it is you're trying to achieve and this again it's something we work with our clients all the time we we, we work uh, in in ecosystem building and the first question is where are you trying to get to what is what is that a to b process for you because if you don't know that if you're not crystal clear about what you're trying to grow then how do you possibly know what information to collect so in that kind of first instance yes first name and email as a baseline you you can have a personalized email process. And again, that's something we love with maybe like that personalization and really sort of getting into that, that no like and trust factor of building that relationship with your client and the email address to have someone to direct it to. However, if you're trying to do more targeted campaigns, if you're looking at geogra geographic location and really kind of getting into the nitty gritty, then yeah, absolutely. You need to be a bit more considerate with what fields you're putting out there to be collecting. But knowing at the same time that your audience, that person who's filling out that form is time poor, they haven't got the, uh, the, the all the time in the earth to give you so therefore making that as simple and as slick as, pro as possible and therefore thinking about those extra steps what else do they need to do is it as simple as filling in that form pressing the button are they gonna have to read more do they have to accept this do, what, what do you need them to do 